assignment is to use GeoPy. All of you already installed GeoPy. We use GeoPy for distance computation, but we want to use GeoPy for doing geocoding. Geocoding is one of those core spatial problems where you may need to use Python. Geocoding is a process of turning addresses into coordinates. So if I have some addresses, I want to create a map of them. How do you map an address? Well, you need to know which are the coordinates for each address. And this is a hard problem to solve. And there are many services which says, give me an address. I will tell you what is the coordinates in Metronome. So you can use one of the services that is offered by GeoPy and do this. There's also another, the opposite of that is reverse geocoding. You can give a coordinate and say, what is at this address? Tell me the nearest something and you can do that. So if you go to GeoPy, on the homepage itself, there is some example of how to use it. So they have many different geocoders. The, there's a free geocoder called Nominatim. So Nominatim is an open street map based geocoder. So open street map is a free and open database of the real world streets and addresses. And if you use open street map as your backend, you can ask open street map what is at this address? Where is this address? And it'll, if it has got the address in the database, it'll tell you what is the lat long. And there's some code snippet here. It's a free service. You just need to specify a, a user agent here just to uniquely identify. So you can specify things like, you know, Python Foundation or your name, whatever. Just give some unique name here and you can create a geocoder and give an address and it'll give you the lat long if the address is far. Simple enough. So the assignment is, I have five addresses of New York City. These are some evacuation centers. And let's say you want to create a map of those addresses. The so first step would be to get those net logs. So I have a list of addresses. Your task is to write code that uses the GeoPy to geocode this address and give an output like this. So this is the first part. Should be simple enough, write a for loop. You should be able to do it. The second part is, well, now find your own addresses in your own country. So wherever you live, maybe find five addresses. Maybe those five could be your favorite restaurants or maybe your list of five offices of some company and whatever, right? So find five addresses in your city or in your country. Use a geocoding service to create geocode them. And here, this will be more challenging because while the OpenStreetMap geocoder is decent enough in US and some parts of you know Europe, UK, it's pretty good. Many parts of the world, it would not work very well. So the idea is also to learn the limitation of OpenStreetMap and the data that we work with. For example, the Indian addresses are notoriously unstructured. So this is the address of my office. If I ask OpenStreetMap to geocode my office address, it'll say, I don't understand this, right? Because it's not in the database. And again, they are not structured addresses like there is in the US. So if you have an address like this, which is not recognized by OpenStreetMap, you can try a truncated, truncated address. OpenStreetMap likely knows the street name and the neighborhood name. So I can just say, here is where my office is, geocode that. So you can use that. You can also go to openstreetmap.org. This is a website for OpenStreetMap. And if you search here, this is also powered by the same geocoder. So you can type your address there. If this website can find it, then OpenStreetMap geocoder can find it as well. Right? So you can test your addresses with this one. You can use OpenStreetMap and nominate in geocoder. Try this out. If it doesn't work, that's also fine. That's also a learning process that just the fire says I tried three work, two didn't work. So you can do this. And if you are really adventurous, if you have time and curiosity, part three is optional. Okay, I do not want everybody to feel you know obliged to do this, but I would recommend if you have time, do this is try another geocoding service. OpenStreetMap nominate is free, but you may want to try other services like Google Maps or Here Maps, or there are more country specific geocoders. We have people who are in Canada, there's a geocoder by one of the provinces and they offer like official geocoder. And all of those are supported by OpenStreetMap, uh, GeoPy. So if you come here, these are all the different geocoder that are supported by GeoPy. So you say, I want to use Bing geocoder. You come, come here, there's a documentation here. You have to get the API key. So you have to go sign up for an API key. Many of the services, are not free. Some of them will ask you a credit card and say set up a billing account. Do it if you want to do it. Otherwise, there are many other free services as well. Many of them offer a free quota saying that I'll offer a free account, try for 2000 addresses and then you can pay. So again, no pressure to try any of this, but if you have time and inclination, it's a, a really good learning curve for you to try any other geocoding service except the nominative.